Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So today I'm doing a lip swatch video. I haven't done one of these in the longest time and I got sent 13 shades um, of the new Wet n Wild Cloud Pelt Marshmallow Lip Mousses. Um, and I thought I'd so do a lip swatch video on this because they sent me 13 shades and they are so affordable They are $8.99 each and they're available from Wet n Wild um, online or Farmers New Zealand um, if you live in New Zealand um, But yeah, they are so affordable. They're vegan. They're cruelty free um, They are really nice formulas. I really like Wet n Wild makeup like some of this stuff is so good despite how affordable they are and one thing that I love using from their range is the Wet n Wild um, eyeliner like the liquid eyeliners they're so good I use them all the time I actually used it today for my wing um, so yeah I really love wet n wild products they're so affordable I love how they're cruelty free and yeah they sent me 13 shades and they do have a good range of shades pinks oranges reds nudes and darker colors and I've left the darker one on now my lips feel so swollen and dry though I've literally just swatched 13 shades and this was the last one I swatched because it was the darkest color so if it looks really messy and weird right now and it looks wonky or whatever that's why because I got just got so over it I was like Ugh. and it's so dark outside it is literally only like nearly four o'clock and it is so dark it looks like it's gonna rain um so yeah I'm like oh my god I better hurry up and do this video this video is not sponsored but I'm lucky enough to get PR send outs from Wet n Wild so I get to see all the new collections that are coming up over the next like months and yeah look at all of these this is oh my god I've got hairs everywhere um these are all of them Whoa. okay there is 13 in here they sent me this cute little box and they sent me a little bag of pink marshmallows like pink and white marshmallows I was like oh that's so cool because these are called marshmallow lip mousses so yeah um I've never tried lip mousses so lip mousses are like a mousse like it's not matte like it feels really comfortable on the lips and really hydrating and has that slight like shine um, and they're not like fully fully pigmented even though they are but they're like you know I think they are best with a lip liner but this is my favorite kind of formula because I always use the Makeup Revolution Power Pout and Irreplaceable which is like a stain or it's like a balm kind of thing like a pigmented balm and I put that over lip liner usually and that's what I've been using in all my like last six seven videos um so yeah I really like the formula of this because this reminds me of that don't forget to like this video if you want to see more lip swatch videos or like more makeup review videos um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I upload every Saturday at 8 a.m New Zealand time so yeah if you want to see me swatch all 13 of these wet n wild cloud pout marshmallow lip mousses then just keep on watching so I have 13 of these wet n wild cloud pout marshmallow lip mousses so my lips are going to be really sore after this um but i'm looking forward to it because if i see one i like then i'm obviously going to use it and for some reason i feel like i look really tan today i don't know um by the way this top is from pia boutique it's like a new zealand designer in um new zealand and i absolutely love it so yay um by the way i did cut my fringe if you're wondering why it looks way way shorter um because i love the whole like bangs look like the long bangs and it just like fluffs back like this i kind of like curled it so the first thing i noticed which is quite annoying the shade name is only on like the little plastic that comes around it and the shade name's not actually on the tube which is really strange it's not even on the bottom so this is the packaging up close I really like it it's basic I love the white writing on the tube and the white lid with the like detail around here um, yeah I think it's quite cute so anyway I'm trying on candy skies this one looks like it's gonna be my favorite one they smell so good they smell like marshmallows maybe that's why they named it marshmallow lip mousse oh my god okay oh I quite like that it's like a light formula like when I put it on and it feels really like like not too drying or anything I have a feeling I'm gonna like these a lot because they're not like super 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 pigmented and I like overlining my lips and then putting like a lip color like just blotting it on top 
and that's what I've been doing lately. Anyway, I like this colour. First impressions, it's like not fully matte. I'm sure it said that it dries down matte. It is like a mousse. Like it's not too liquidy, but it's not matte. It's like that perfect in between. Okay, yeah. Next we are trying out Candy Wasted. This is like a super bright pink and it looks so cool. By the way, these have a vegan formula and Wet n Wild is cruelty free, which is something I love about the brand. Okay, I'm legit so impressed with this formula. I really like this formula. This is like the best um, formula that I like in a lipstick. It's not going to smudge every, everywhere, but it doesn't dry out your lips because I hate matte lipsticks now because it just makes your lips look so chapped and disgusting. Um, but I don't like liquid lipsticks because I feel like they're too drying. So anyway, the next color I have is Pour Some Sugar On Me. Peachy pink. So this one looks really nice. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. This is a really nice peachy color. I can't get over how hydrated my lips are with these. And they're literally $8.99. Anyway, the next shade I'm going to show you is Cloud Chaser. This one's similar to the other one, but it's more of a like muted pink. Um, and this one is for you guys that like, like a nude, but a pink at the same time. Like it's the perfect in between. I like this one. I think I'm going to use this one quite a lot because it's like the perfect hint of pink. Um, yeah, I feel like Barbie. I like this one. Oh, the next one is called Girl You're Whipped. I really like that name. That's what we used to say to people that like were so obsessed with their partners back in school. Like, they're whipped. <laughs> that just reminded me of that. Suits the whole marshmallow tone. This is like a pink, but it's a dark mauvey pink. If you're not into the whole Barbie pink scent, you guys might like this one. See, and if you want to layer up the thickness, let's see if we can do that. I'm going to put heaps on. This color is really nice. Um, I'm going to put heaps on. I oh, see so you can make it a little bit more pigmented if you put another layer on. I like this one. I think it looks good. It doesn't look too bright. So the next one is the only nude shade they have, but it's a really nice nude color. This one's called... Fluff and Nutter. <laughs> That's a funny name. Um, but yeah, it's like a nice brownie nude colour. Um, I wish they had one in between where they had like a more of a nude but slightly more pinky as well. But um, yeah, I've been loving the pink colours anyway. And I feel like there's a big range of pink colours. So I'm not too worried. But I know some of you guys are really into your nudes. So you might have liked like, you know, more of a range. Anyway, I really like this new colour. I think this colour suits the whole makeup that I have the most and like with what I'm wearing. Um, and I'll always remember this name, Fluffernutter. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, this one looks really nice and it's super hydrating. Oh, turn up the brightness. It's super hydrating. It's like an orangey nude. This pimple's going to annoy me. It's like an orangey nude and this one makes my lips look really plump. So the next shade is a really bright shade. This one is called Sugarholic. I love that name because I am a sugarholic. Um, this is like a really bright orange color. Um, and this one looks really cool. I wouldn't normally wear a color like this, but it might be good for like creative looks or if you just blot a tiny bit on your lips and you're wearing like orange. I think being matchy matchy is really cool. So see how this looks. Oh, wow. Oh wow, I really like this. I think this shade looks so beautiful. I think it really matches the darker fake tan that I have on today. I think this looks so nice. Like I need to wear orange lipstick more. This is so nice. I like this. I've seen people online wear orange lipsticks and I always love how it looks. So this one just looks stunning. What do you guys reckon? Do you like this shade? I really like this shade. Um, so yeah, sugarholic guys. The next shade is like a muted red color. I think this one will look really stunning as well. It looks like a nice bright color. Um, and I reckon this will suit blue eyes a lot and just any hair color, oh, especially brunette hair. It looks so nice. This one is called Fluff You. 
I love these names. Okay, I find this one extremely pigmented. I really like this with like um, my regrowth. See, it matches like dark hair or just any hair color. Um, and I really like this with white. I think this one looks really pretty. Um, why am I liking all the bright shades? It's probably because I'm so over like pinks and nudes from wearing them so much. But I really like this one, Fluff You. Um, so next we have the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout in Marshmallow Madness. It looks more red on the camera here, but it's more like a muted hot pink. This is a nice color. This isn't something that I would normally wear, but I think it is pretty cool. What do you guys reckon? It looks more like bright on the camera. I swear it's more of like, yeah, it looks like this back here. It's more of like a muted pinky red. Like I can't even describe it. Oh, come say hi to Ragnar. He's trying to suck up. He's trying to suck up because of what he did. Look how huge he is. He's only eight months old. He is a huge, oh my God, he looks really big here. He is a huge cat and all he does is eat 24 seven. Um, but he's beautiful. Say hi, Rex. Say hi. <laughs> and all he does is purr really loudly. Look at his tail. It's stiff and straight. Why is his tail like that for? Oh, Ragnar. I could wear you as a scarf, literally. Like, you could do anything with him and he's not going to bite. The next colour I have is Marsh to my Mallow. How cute is that? Um, this is like a muted, oh, muted pinky brown colour. I can't even explain it. Like, you can see what it is here. I do like this colour. I do like brighter colours on the lips now because I feel like it doesn't make you look so dead. Um... But yeah, I used to use new colors that really wash me out. So I really like this kind of color. Do you guys like this? I feel like it reminds me of the other one a lot. Like it is really similar to the one I just tried on. So I feel like this shade is really similar to the other one as well. I, oh my God, I ripped off the packaging and I don't even know what name this one is. But this one is really similar to the other one. It is a little bit brighter, more on the like muted hot pink side. Okay, so here is this shade. As you can see, it is a little bit more brighter and a little bit more pinker. I do prefer this one over the last one because it is a little bit brighter um, and a little bit more like eye-catching. I must say, because they're not like extremely in your face pigmented, even though like they are, but around the lip border, like, oh, I don't know if you can see, around the lip border, it like goes quite like um, sheer. Well, you know, if you really want like a precise lip line. So I reckon that you should use a lip liner with these. Anyway, this color is called Don't Sugarcoat It. Oh my gosh, this is a really bright red. This is like an intense blood red. And I really like this color. Um, and I have a feeling a lot of people will like this one as well. Especially if you are into your bright red lipsticks. But don't like matte lipsticks that are going to dry out your lips. I really like this color. As you can see, it really matches my skin tone. It makes my eyes look really blue. Um, and this is just something that reminds me of Christmas, like something you should wear on Christmas time or if you want to dress up and look really glam. Like I feel so glamorous wearing a red lipstick. And I used to wear a red lipstick lots and I always got compliments when I wore red lips. I feel like I've been liking the more natural makeup looks lately. Um, and that's why I'm doing like the pinky glossy kind of lips. But Anyway, I really like this color. I think you guys will like it too. It's called Don't Sugarcoat It. I have a feeling this is going to be a popular shade in the line because who doesn't like a nice red in their collection? Um, but I'm on to the last two shades and these are the two darker shades. So I might try I'm on Cloud Wine. Oh my god, that is so cool. I love that name. This is a really dark red. I think this is going to be so nice for winter and I love it when people wear dark colors like this. I think it looks so nice. Um, I just need to get out of my comfort, comfort zone and wear different makeup looks. Mind my awful lip swatch, but this is I'm on Cloud Wine. I love that name. I do really love this color as well. Like I always like it when I wear darker shades. Oh my God. 
this lip line is not it so just fully ignore that so yeah what do you guys think of this one i do like this and i feel like i should wear shades like this more um and i think this looks so beautiful this color on people with dark hair like really dark brown hair oh that looks so good so this one is Love You S'more. This is the darker shade of their collection. It's like a super dark brown. And I do really like the way this looks on some people. Um, so Love You S'more. That's a cool name. I love all the names of these. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I just dipped it in and I, like, made the whole wand, like, thick of... Oh, my God. Ooh, that was silly of me. Okay, I like... Okay, you know what's just happened? The inside of this has just come out, so it's like a hole, and I've just got it all over the wand. But I really do like this dark colour. I think it suits me. What do you guys think? I reckon it suits me. I don't know. Despite my... Oh my god, look at this. That is the most worst application ever. I think it's because I'm so over my... Ugh. But yeah, I think it will look so much better with a lip liner because it does go quite sheer if you like keep trying to blend it into your lips. I used to wear a colour like this from Lime Crime. It was called Wicked. It was really similar to this but slightly more darker red. Um, and I remember getting a compliment in real life um, from somebody and I always remember that compliment. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was the end of the video. Oh my gosh, I'm so over like swatching 13 shades on my lips. Um, but yeah, this video didn't actually take that long to film. Thank goodness because I'm like starving right now and I'm going to go and get some food. Yeah, so these are all my favorite shades. I really like these and it's funny because I'm including this dark one because I really like this. I don't know. I think I really match this kind of color. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time. And let me know down below your favorite lip color on me out of all of these. What shade was the best? You can just leave the shade name down below. Um, yeah, what one did you like the best on me? I'd be interested to know. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye.